Welcome to Trampy YouTube. Uh, fuck no. Oh, now someone's ringing me. Hello. No, we're t teaching how to jump. Yeah, we're going to start just on the flat. We're here at Rushcliffe, and today we are going to run through the correct process of jumping, I suppose. Yeah, we are. Before you jump, make sure you're wearing all the protection. Recommend pads, not that we all wear them. Make sure you're comfortable on your board in kind of most other aspects, like going full speed. Also, although you can jump without bindings, we would always recommend like full bindings, heels included. You're putting yourself and your board at risk. It's great fun, but just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Always yeah. be careful. <laughs> yeah, right. that's it. Cool. Let's get started, I suppose. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few ways of jumping. The most common are ollies, nollies or two-footed jumps. Two-footed jumps are the most natural way to do it at first and the best place to get started. When doing jumps for the first time, it's best to do it stationary just so you get a feel and understand the weight of the board, which is pretty heavy. Make sure your bindings are nice and tight. Then, just like you would when you were not on a board, you need to push down on the ground and spring off it. Or in this case, push down on the deck and use the board like a tramper, lean. Also, try to look forward like you would if you were moving, and not down at the board, even though Nate is looking down here. Once you feel comfortable doing it stationary, you can then start to do it with a bit of speed. However, this is where it gets a little different compared to a non-powered board. One of the most important things to do when jumping on an e-board is to let off the throttle once you're in the air, otherwise you might chew up your gears or snap your belt when you land. Landing with your throttle down puts a lot of force through your drive system and does not end well. The best way to get used to this is to get up to speed before the jump, then let off the throttle before you even take off. As you become more confident, you can use the throttle to enable you to jump higher and further as you take off. Come off the throttle mid-air, then land safely. Once you are used to being airborne on the board for two-footed jumps, the next thing to master is the ollie. An ollie is where the front wheel comes off the ground before the back wheels. This enables you to jump higher and is the cool way to do it. It gives you more pop and like so you can get more height and it often feels a lot more controlled. When setting up for an ollie, crouch down to gain the momentum to push up from. Then as you spring back up, your weight needs to slightly move to the back of the board and over your back leg. Bring your front foot up first, then push off the ground with your back foot. Bring your knees up and level out the board to enable a smooth four-wheeled landing. When you become used to all the different movements, this all needs to become one smooth motion. Again, as you become more confident, start doing it while moving. It is important to remember that the weight transfer from centered to more over the back foot needs to come as you spring up and not before. It'll help you like get over things, doesn't it, as you're making your way around. Like if you're in town, it's quite important to be able to hop up a curb if you need to. Not that you should really be riding it down. <laughs> Next is the nollie, basically the same as an ollie, but the other way around. Crouch down to create the pop. As you spring back, centre your weight slightly over the front foot. Bring the back foot up and then launch off your front leg. Bring both knees level, then land all four wheels smoothly. Again, practice stationary. And then once you feel comfortable, do it on the move. So once you've got the hang of uh, ollieing on the flat, moving, like once you're comfortable with that, the next progression would be to go find something like this, like a bank. This is obviously very similar to um, an ollie on the flat. Things to remember though are, spot where you're gonna take off from on the lip of the jump. So if I'm riding up now, as I'm riding up, I'm gonna be looking at about this spot here, which is the point I'm gonna pop off from. So going up to it, bending down, looking at that spot, and then jump. Riding up, spot the takeoff, Air up, hand off the accelerator, look for the landing, and place all four wheels down. Same again with Nathan. 
up off the accelerator, spot the landing, and then ride away. So yeah, once you're comfortable, uh, like on banks or anything natural, um, then you can move on to something like maybe a pump track like this, where all the fun's had. <laughs> this might seem way next level compared to just the next step, um, but don't be intimidated by this at all. It's obviously a big gap jump, but you don't have to clear the whole thing. You can jump a little bit and land on the top. So the same as before, you want to be riding up and you want to be kind of looking at the spot you're going to be taking off from. Um, and because of the transition, the transition will help you jump way more than you think, so there's no need to really pop. Um, so for starters, hit it slowly, go up, and then just do a little jump like that. Or even, you could go a little bit faster and let the jump do all the work. Um, but yeah, just look where you're going to take off from and then jump. Should I do it at full speed and talk through it as well? <laughs> Okay, this is my first jump of the day, actually. Put the accelerator off and then land. You might find out that you're better off finding a tabletop jump rather than a double to practice clearing. The problem with doubles is that you're going to be landing on the up face of the second roller if you don't clear it. This makes for a high impact landing and it's not good for the board or your legs. If you can find somewhere with a nice landing slope to practice jumps, then that is best. Main points to take from this somewhat informative video are Practice on the flat, start small and then build it up and make sure you are not accelerating when you land. Take your time. Don't don't like push yourself for anyone else. You know, you've only got to hurt yourself once and it will put you off for a, a little while. So just go steady. A lot of us jumper riders have been mountain boarding for years and we've jumped off all sorts of things. Like I used to start jumping with literally a board of wood and like two bricks underneath it at the end. Just um, build up to it. It's gonna, it takes a long time, but the whole experience and the whole process of learning it is just as fun as doing it. So go out there, do some jumps, stay safe and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so that's us done. I hope you've um, got more of an insight on how to jump on your electric mountain board. Yeah, and thanks for watching uh, Tramper YouTube. We'll and see you next time. time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I got so covered. <laughs>